Hello, baseball fans. This is Anthony with BBSN, and we are back for start number 13 in the payoff pitch Ferguson Jenkins 1969 replay. And in tonight's game, the Cubs take on the Braves back at the friendly confines of Wrigley Field. And currently in this replay, in real life, Jenkins was 6-2 with a 2.48 ERA at this point in games that uh, Fergie started. The Cubs were 8-4. And, and in the replay, uh, Fergie is 9-3 with a stellar 1.89 ERA. And, of course, he has got a decision every time out, so the Cubs are 9-3 in his starts. And in this game, which was an uh, excellent pitching matchup between Jenkins and the knuckleballer Phil Necro, the Cubs prevailed 3-2 on 531-69. And the starting lineups for that game for the Braves, a uh, potent lineup. Felipe Alou leads it off in center field. Felix Mian at second base, bat second. Batting third, Hank Aaron. And after Hammer and Hank, the Baby Bull, Orlando Cepeda at first, Cleet Boyer at third, Sonny Jackson at short, Bob Didier at catch, Mike Lum in left field, and of course Phil Necro on the mound. And for the Cubs tonight, uh, one minor change to their normal lineup. It's Kessinger, Beckert, Williams, Ron Santo, Ernie Banks, Randy Hundley. And Jim Hickman gets a start in right field tonight in place of Al Spangler. Meanwhile, Don Young, who did not uh, appear in the lineup in Fergie's last start, is back in center field. And, of course, on the mound himself, the pride of Chatham, Canada, Ferguson Jenkins. So we are set to go, and Fergie is warmed up. As Felipe Alou steps in, and we are underway. And defense is going to come into play right off the bat. And that is going to be an error check on the third baseman, Santo. And he is a three. And at Wrigley Field, one to 53 will be an error. So not a good way to start off the game. And that is going to be a two base error. So a throwing error on Santo allows Alou to scamper down to second base. And Fergie right off the bat in danger of giving up an unearned run. And that is going to bring up uh, second baseman Felix Mion. And Mion against right-handers hit 276 in 1969. And that's going to be patient and Fergie in trouble early as Mion draws a base on balls. And as you recall, in his last start, Fergie gave up four, and he had been uh, exceptional with the control prior to that. So nobody out, two on, Hammer and Hank Aaron up. Here comes a pitch, and patient again. And Aaron's going to draw a walk, so the sacks are loaded. And Fergie off to an ominous start in this one as the baby bull, Orlando Cepeda. And I actually, uh, when I was in the Army, there was a... Uh, friend of mine in my platoon, also named Orlando Cepeda, who uh, was not from Puerto Rico as the uh, baseball player was, but actually from Guam. But his dad apparently was able to uh, watch games in Guam and sharing the last name, he named his son after Orlando Cepeda, which is a semi-interesting fact, I guess. So tough and 87, and that's going to be a ground ball down to shortstop. And double play rating, that is within Cepeda's and Jenkins. So after all that, Alou is going to come in to score. Felix Mion goes to third and a 5-4-3 double play. So no RBI for the baby bowl, but the... Uh, Braves do break out to a 1-0 lead, and that will be an unearned run. Third baseman Cleet Boyer comes up now, two outs, runner on third base, and Fergie, if he gets out with just this, uh, could consider this a very major win. This is an error check on shortstop, and Kessinger is a five, and that is as good as it gets, and of course a roll of 96. Going to make a nice play in the hole, whip it over to first base, and the Cubbies are out of it. So one run on the benefit of two walks and an error. 
and the Braves break out on this in front, 1-0, and Cubbies come into plate. So Phil Necro, the knuckleballer, faced on Kessinger. And Nuxy, that is patient, and Kessinger, he's also going to work a walk in his uh, first at bat. So both pitchers, a little bit of control uh, issues out of the gate. Kessinger on first, and he will try and steal on a roll of four. Does not happen. Glenn Beckert up, and it's going to be a ballpark check, and Wrigley, that will be in play. So Beckert against the right-hander, and that is going to be out of range. A ground ball down to second base. Potential double play. And that is outside both Necro and Beckert's rating, so that is going to actually advance the runner. So 4-3 on the putout. Kessinger ends up at second base. And the knuckleball, some say invented as far back as the 1800s, Toad Ramsey, a Louisville pitcher in the American Association. And a defensive check for Necro. It's going to be a range check on first baseman Orlando Cepeda, and he is a C. And 1-47 to is going to be a hit. And the hit check there, first base, and that is going to be a double down the line. Runners advance two bases, so this game is tied up, an RBI double. Yes, sweet swing and Billy Williams comes through. Coming in to score is Kessinger, and it is knotted up at one apiece. That brings up third baseman Ron Santo. And Santo gave up the air that allowed the Braves to break out on top. And that will be tough, and it's going to be a single by Santo. And it is a line drive into center field. Runner on second advances one base. So Cubby's at the corners now. One down, and Mr. Cub himself, Ernie Banks, is up. And Ernie could use a clutch hit here. And that's going to be a ballpark check. 72, however, will be in play. And 38 by Ernie Banks, not going to get it done. That is a pop-up to the second baseman. So both runners have to hold. Two outs now. Runners on first and third for Randy Hundley. And Hundley has been one of the Cubs' offensive heroes throughout this replay. Will not be this time as that is a ground ball down to shortstop. So Sonny Jackson whips that over to Cepeda. And the Cubbies are retired. And they score one run on a couple of hits. We head to the second inning. It's tied at one. Sonny Jackson, brave shortstop, leads it off against Fergie. And tough, and that is going to be a fly ball to center field. Putting that away is Don Young, one down. Uh, other uh, of the, uh, the usual suspects, I should say, in inventing a knuckleball, uh, Eddie Sicotti of uh, Black Sox fame. Uh, his nickname was Knuckles, and that is tough by Jenkins. And that's going to be a fly ball to right field, two away. And still another uh, potential innovator was a uh, pitcher who played in uh, one of the minor leagues, taught it to Howard Emke, who uh, eventually made the bigs uh, with Connie Mack in the A's. As a fly ball to center field by Mike Lump, takes care of the Braves in the top of the second, three up, three down. And Emke, uh, some say, was the first to use the modern version of the knuckleball in the major leagues. As Sakati held his pitch more like a knuckle curve, uh, according to most, with his actual knuckles, hence the nickname, while uh, Emke held the more traditional version with the fingertips and using the thumb for balance. So Necro, that's going to be a tough out, and that will be a strikeout. So Hickman goes down swinging at the flutter ball. One down, and Don Young steps to the plate. And that's going to be in play, and a fly ball to center field. Coming in to put that away is Felix or Felipe Alou. So two quick outs, and Fergie comes up to the plate looking to help his own cause. He's actually had a decent season at the plate. And that's going to be patient, and Fergie's going to draw base on balls. 
So a two out walk to Jenkins and he is not going to try and go anywhere. Back to the top of the order, Kessinger up. And Kessinger in play and that is going to be a fly out to center field. The Lou takes care of that as well. So two out walk, uh, nothing else doing and we head to the top of the third. We are tied up at one and Phil Necro leads it off for the Braves. And six will be tough, and it's going to be a swing and a miss, strike three. And there's no fooling around with the soft stuff. Fergie comes in with a high heat, and Nico cannot catch up with it. Back to the top of the order. And Felipe Alou. And three is going to be tough. And that will be a fly ball to center field. Don Young puts that away, two down. Second baseman Felix Mian up. And Mion, tough, and that is going to be a ground ball down to Santo at third. So second three up, three down for the Braves after Fergie struggled in that uh, double play back in the first inning, got him back on track. As Glenn Becker leads it off for the Cubbies. And ballpark, a three ballpark checks, but they've all been in play. So Necro living well. Ground ball down to first base. Cepeda takes that unassisted to the bag. One away. Sweet swing and Billy Williams who hit the game tying double back in the first inning. And that'll be a tough out and a fly out to right field. Two away. So as expected, uh, after both pitchers had a rough start, both settling in and we are getting the pitcher's duel we had hoped for. Uh, in play by Santo, that's going to be a single into left field. So Santo, a two-out base hit. And Santo, he has uh, often been timed with a sundial running the bases, so thankfully he will not steal as Ernie Banks steps in to take his hacks. And Mr. Cubby is going to pop it up to shortstop. Circling under that is Sonny Jackson, and the side is retired. One hit for the Cubs. No runs, one left. We head to the top of the fourth, still tied at one as Hank Aaron leads it off for the Braves against Fergie. And tough, and Hank Aaron, he's going to fight that one off, loop it into the opposite field down the line, and when the dust clears, he will be standing at second base with a double. And that is the Braves' first hit of the ball game as they scored without the uh, benefit of a base knock in the first. And the baby bull, Orlando Cepeda, steps up. And in play for Cepeda, and he grounds that down to second base. And Aaron is going to move to third. 4-3 on the put out, one away, and the go-ahead run for the Braves is now 90 feet away. As third baseman Cleet Boyer waves through the air, steps up to take his hacks, and that is wheelhouse. And Boyer, a big swing, but a harmless ground ball down to shortstop. That, however should get the run home uh, been a while hold on let me brush up on the rules here and infield was not in so that is going to get the run home so 6-3 on the ground out but an RBI as Aaron comes in to score, and Braves lead this 2-1, to one, and that will be an earned run this time as Sonny Jackson steps up. And 6 will be tough, and Jackson, he's going to get a hold of that and ground it back to Kessinger. So the Braves get a run on a hit, and we go to the bottom of the fourth inning. Braves lead the Cubbies 2-1 to one as Randy Hudley steps up to face Necro. And that tough out again, that'll be a fly out to right field, one away. So Necro, as with most knuckleballers, he can get on a hot streak and be extremely difficult to hit. 44 to Hickman, and that's a ground ball down to third base. Two quick outs here in the bottom of the fourth inning for the Cubbies is Don Young. Digs into the box, cocks the bat, and ballpark, and once again, Necro dodges a bullet. That will be in play. 
And Young just going to miss that. A hard struck ball to second base and reaching out to stab that is Mian. So three up, three down for the Cubbies. And we head to the top of the fifth, and the Braves lead this one two to one as Bob Didier, Braves catcher, will lead off the fifth inning. And it's going to be an in-play result. Ground ball to Kessinger over to Banks, one down. Mike Lum steps in, and Lum flew out the center his first time up. And again, another in play result, and 99 will be a fly out to right field, two away for the pitcher, Phil Necro, and Necro, a decent hitting pitcher. But Fergie's going to get him tough, which means he's going to get him swinging for the second time. Bringing the cheese, three up, three down for the Braves. We head to the bottom of the fifth inning, Braves still lead this one two to one. And Fergie's going to lead things off for the Cubbies here in the bottom of the fifth. And that'll be an in-play result, but unfortunately a fly ball to center field. One down. Back to the top of the order, and Kessinger, he drew a leadoff walk to start the game and later scored on the double by Billy Williams. And four will be in play, and Kessinger, he's going to rope this one down the line. And spinning around, an easy stand-up double, so the Cubbies have Kessinger in scoring position once again, and Glenn Becker steps up. Eight's going to be tough, and Becker, he's going to have tough luck hitting that flutter ball as he goes down swinging, and that is the third strikeout for Necro. And once again, Billy Williams, two down, and in a position to tie the game up again. Seven in play and sweet swinging Billy Williams. He's going to come through with yet another double. So Kessinger trots home and we are knotted up at two and Billy Williams making an early case to be our player of the game here for the Cubbies should they go on to win as Ron Santo. I'm going to try and further that cause and that will be a defensive check. And error check by the third baseman. Uh, Cleet Boyer is a three and a roll of 54. And going to make a nice play. Juggles it but gets it over to first base in time. And the side is retired. So Cleet Boyer recovered, nearly booted that. As we head to the top of the sixth inning. And we are knotted up at two in this one. Top of the order, Felipe Alou for the Braves. And Fergie patient. That's going to be a ground ball to Kessinger, one away. Felix Mion, who is walked and grounded out to third base. And Tough and Mion, he's able to handle that and he drives that right back up the middle for a single. So Jenkins gave him his best pitch. Mion was equal to the task and he is on first base. And he will try and steal on a roll of four. Does not happen. Hammer and Hank steps up. And one swing of the bats, all it takes from this guy, but not going to happen this at bat. This is a ground ball to Kessinger. And six. That is within both uh, players' double plays rating. So six, four, three. And the Braves are done in the six, courtesy of a crisply turned twin killing. And Ernie Banks going to lead things off against Phil Necro here in the bottom of the inning. And nine going to be in play in Banks. He's going to drive that into the gap in left center field, and he'll be around with his own double. So the Cubbies have not left the yard, but they're sure rattling the fences. They lead off double by Ernie and Randy Hundley. Looking to pick him up. And 10 will be tough. Not going to happen this time, though, as Nuxy shocks Hundley with a rare fastball, catches him off guard, and he just watches it go by. Called strike three. Back to the dugout in shame as Jim, Jim Hickman steps up. Once again, ballpark, and once again in play. So Necro living well, and that is going to be a ground ball down to shortstop. And Banks going to have to hold. So Jackson to Cepeda, and it is two outs for Don Young. And he'd like to uh, get this go-ahead run across, not leave it up to Fergie. 
Uh, patient, that will be a fly ball to center field, and that's an easy count of corn for Mike Lum. So a leadoff double, all for naught, and we head to the seventh inning, and we are still tied at two. With the baby bull, Orlando Cepeda. He's grounded out twice. One of them was a double play. And ballpark rating, and that is going to be wheelhouse. And against the right-handed batter, Cepeda, fastball right down the middle, takes his hacks, gets a hold of this, and that is six rows deep into the bleachers. A leadoff home run, and the first home run Fergie has given up in a few games, but it is a big one as the Braves jump back on top, six or three to two. And Cepeda high fives, goes back to the dugout. Jenkins kicks the mound in disgust. Delivers to Cleet Boyer, and that is going to be a patient result, and Boyer going to draw a base on ball, so Fergie, he was rattled by that uh, circuit shot from Cepeda as he walks Boyer, brings up Sonny Jackson, the left-hander, and that'll be a tough result, and Jackson, he's going to single. And that is going to be a line drive or long single into the gap in center field. Runner on first advances one base and a question mark. So center field, uh, Boyer is a six and Don Young has an arm of seven and he's going to give it a shot. So this has to be six or less. And it is in between. So we go to the two die ten. And 83, and that is going to be safe. So just under the tag. And Sonny Jackson comes up big with a single, and Fergie looking to be a little shaken here. Still nobody out. That's going to get some action going in the bullpen. Uh, the lefty, Hank Aguirre, will begin to loosen up for the Cubs. As Bob Didier steps in, runners at the corner, nobody out. Here comes the pitch. Fergie needs a big one. And that's going to be in play and yet another single, so I'm not going to get it here. It's a sharp line drive into center field. Runner on first advances one base, so coming in to score from third is Cleet Boyer. And circuit to circuit. Jackson stops at second. Didier has himself an RBI, and the Braves have them, so a 4-2 lead as Mike Lum steps in, another left-hander. And six will be tough, 45, and just out of range there. It's going to be a ground ball down to third base. And six is within double play ratings of both, so over to third goes Sonny Jackson. But a crucial 5-4-3 twin killing initiated by Santo. And now two outs for the Braves. Runner on third base and Necro at the plate. And that's going to be a patient result and a fly ball to shallow center field. Coming in to take that is Hickman and the sides are tired. But the Braves, three big hits and two very crucial runs as we head to the bottom of the seventh. Seventh inning stretch here at the friendly confines. And Harry Carey, let me hear ya, a one, a two. And he leads the crowd as usual. No guest singers today, just Harry and his wonderfully toned voice. Accentuated by two or three Budweiser's at this point in time, of course. And nine's going to be an in-play result. And Fergie, and actually I meant to pinch hit for him. And that would have been Al Spangler, so... I know I should have announced that, but I really meant to do that, as Gary is going to be the new Cubs pitcher. So at worst, uh, Fergie is going to get the loss in this one, and at best, a no decision. So he ends up going seven innings, gives up a total of only five hits, four runs, three of them earned. And his big nemesis today, uh, really, besides a uh, 
Well, a long ball, but uh, basically he was a little bit wild again. Ended up walking three, and he struck out only two in this outing. And, of course, gave up the first home run he has surrendered. So Spangler, that will be a single. So Cubby's in business here to lead off the eighth inning. And Aguirre is going to be the new pitcher for the Cubs, or the seventh inning, sorry. Uh, Aguirre will be the new pitcher in the eighth, top of the order. And Spangler's going to stay put as Kessinger, who is one for two, also has a walk, steps in. And that's going to be tough. And 41, Kessinger, he's going to drive a single off a Necro. And that is an opposite field liner, and that's going to go into left field. Runner on first advances two bases. So runners at the corner, nobody out for the Cubs as well. And in the Atlanta bullpen, there's going to be a little bit of action down there as the left-hander, Paul Doyle, begins to loosen up feverishly. So Beckert at the plate, and here comes Necro home. Four in play, and Beckert. And that is going to be a single. So that will get the Cubbies one run closer. Long singling into the gap in center field. The runner on first advances one base. So Kessinger stops at second. And Beckert has an RBI as Spangler comes in to score. And that makes it 4-3 Braves. And sweet swinging Billy Williams is up. So actually Fergie, a uh, little bit of magic here, could come out of this in position to get a win. So two, that's going to be Wheelhouse, and Williams, a big swing, and does not get it all. It's going to fall short into center field. Under that is Alou, and the runners will have to hold. So one out now, and cleanup hitter Ron Santo steps in. Runners still at the corners. Necro could use a double play, and Seven's going to be in play. He's not going to get it as Santo singles, and this game is going to be tied. And it's a grounder up the middle. Runner on first advances two bases. Runner on second scores. So over to third goes Beckert, and coming in to score is Kessinger, and it is 4-4. Four to four. Santo, the big RBI. And Necro is going to get exactly one more batter here. As Doyle will then be ready to pitch. Four in play and Ernie Banks. It's going to be a fly ball to right field. And that is going to get the go-ahead run home for the Cubbies. So sack fly nine and coming in to score is Beckert. And Necro is going to be left in to finish out this inning. And that will be it for him. Uh, six, tough out, and 33. Hundley goes down swing, but a little bit too late there as the Cubbies fight back three runs on a total of four hits. And we head to the top of the eighth. The Cubbies lead this one 5-4, and both starters will be out of the game. So it is going to be Doyle for the Braves, and Hank Aguirre is on the mound for the Cubs, and Phil Regan is warming up. And again, Aguirre must face at least two batters before Regan can come into the game. So for Necro, he also goes seven innings. And he's struggled a little bit, especially those last couple innings. He gave up a grand total of... 10 hits to the Cubs, and five runs, all of them were earned, and Nuxie recorded three, four strikeouts, and walked two. And no home runs given up. And again, on the mound, when the Cubbies come to bat in the eighth, will be Paul Doyle. So, Aguirre. And they're not going to pitch to their own teams. Aguirre, top of the order for the Braves, Felipe Alou. And Aguirre, that's going to be in play. And Alou, 
Hits that high in the air to center field and Don Young, easy count of corn, one down. Second baseman Felix Mian up. And six will be tough. And that's going to be a fly ball to right field, shallow right field. Hickman comes in, makes a one-handed catch of that, two away, and hammering Hank Aaron. The legend steps in, and Aaron takes a big whack at that, but a harmless two hopper to second base, and Beckert whips that over to Banks. So three up, three down for Geary. And we head to the bottom of the eighth. Cubs lead this 5-4, and Jim Hickman set to lead it off for the Cubs in the eighth inning. And Doyle, that will be a defensive check. And defensive check will be range check on the pitcher. And Doyle is a B, roll of 59. And he's going to get to that easily and make the play. So one down, one three on the put out. And that brings up center fielder Don Young. And Young, nine, is going to be a patient result, and he flies to center field, two away. Pitcher spot is up, and they're going to go ahead and lift Doyle. So he is done. And Adolfo Phillips, Phil Regan will be the... Uh, I should say lift a Geary. So Phil Regan will be on to pitch the ninth for the Cubbies. And a Geary does his job. A nice three up, three down inning. And up to bat for the Cubs will be Adolfo Phillips. And here comes the pitch. And that is going to be tough, and Phillips, well, he nearly fought that off, and that's going to be a ground ball to shortstop instead. So Phillips grounds out, and the Cubbies go down one, two, three in the eighth, and we head to the top of the ninth inning. This is it. And Phil Regan going to try and slam the door, and the baby bull who homered his last time up is going to lead it off. And nine will be in play, and Cepeda smacks a single into left field. So the Braves are in business here, and Cepeda, not really a base runner, and he's not going to get a jump. Cleet Boyer up. Seven will be in play, and Boyer, it's a ground ball down to Santo, and seven on the double play, and that's within both uh, pitcher and hitter's double play range. So that is the third double play turned by Santo today, and none bigger than that, as that gets it down to two away, nobody on, Sonny Jackson, last hope for the Braves. Here comes a pitch, and tough, Phil Regan in style, swing and a miss, strike three, rings him up. So that is the ball game, and Regan with the save, and Fergie, thanks to a seventh inning rally, does come back to get the victory, which will move his record now to 10-3. and three. was not his best outing, but a win nonetheless. So let's set up the final numbers here for the uh, Braves. They got four runs on the benefit of only five hits, no errors. And the Cubbies, they had five runs on 10 hits, a single error. And player of the game in this one, um, gonna be out of Kessinger and Williams. And Kessinger, he was on base three times. He had a single double and a walk scored three runs. And Billy Williams went two for four with two rubble, two doubles, rubbles, and two RBIs. Uh, Got to go with the uh, catalyst at the top of the order. We're going to give the player of the game to Kessinger since he did score three of the Cubs' five runs. So Fergie now on this replay, he's going to move to 10-3 and, and another victory for the Cubbies. 
So next up, uh, start 14, of course, will be upcoming for Fergie as he has, again, gotten a decision in every single outing so far. Uh, next up for the channel, uh, we'll be back on the uh, racetrack of Red, White, and Blue Racing and as if I needed another game from Play.com, I went ahead and pulled the trigger on Soccer Blast. So uh, looking forward to that. Ordered the uh, 2017 and 18 EPL season. So looking forward to at some point, once I get comfortable with the game, uh, starting a replay of my favorite Premier League side, Tottenham. So we will be having some Come On You Spurs at some point on the channel. And also upcoming from Glory Days Boxing, uh, ID Jester had previously requested a uh, George Foreman, a Vander Holyfield fight. So that will be coming up on the channel. And then we also have our title match, uh, Jack Johnson versus Jack Dempsey. So two big fights upcoming for Glory Days Boxing as we continue to... Uh, move along in the development cycle for that game and what you will see next time uh, Glory Days Boxing is on the channel is I have finished implementing and refining the traits so all boxers who have traits will be uh, they'll be coming into play and will be listed on the new boxing cards which I'll be getting uh, printed out this weekend and not all boxers do have a trait, but uh, many do. And then some examples of that, I think I mentioned it previously. Um, uh, one of the traits is Rembrandt, and that automatically adds a punch landed every time a fighter scores a jab. Um, roll with it, which reduces a um, opponent's power by one due to the fighter's ability to roll with a punch. Uh, that's actually a trait that Muhammad Ali will have. And uh, closer uh, affects the uh, fighter's will check, which comes into play for a TKO. And uh, there's a total of 18 traits. So anyway, when we do get to those fights, I will go over each of those and offer an explanation of the trade itself and also the logic for implementing them in the game. And basically all that is is uh, some fighters will do better in certain areas than others that you just can't capture with the uh, standard uh, general ratings on a card. So again, it's something not all fighters will have and not all traits are good. Uh, Henry Cooper, nicknamed the uh, test tube bleeder because of his propensity to cut, um, he, he does have more uh, cut chances on his individual card than he has chances to swell, but even that's not enough as he has the bleeder trait as well, which means if there's ever a roll or an opportunity to roll for a cut stoppage, his odds of the fight getting stopped are going to be increased due to that trait. So um, I, I think the traits will add a lot to the game. And, and again, you'll get a chance to see them in action when we have our next fights. So that's all upcoming. So signing off from the friendly confines of Wrigley Field, this is Anthony with BBSN. And until next time, uh, keep rolling for the fences and have a good night. And please do not forget to uh, thumbs up the video if you like it. And also please support our friends of the channel. Uh, a lot of good people here. They're all on the uh, left side in my subs. Um, do everything from uh, show and movie reviews, uh, Broke Black Man 94, uh, good sports talk, especially boxing, what's blazing in sports, and of course the usual YouTube gamers, Al Red Sox fan, Stratomatic Delaware, Clinton Parks, ID Jester, Higher Ground Gaming, Baseball Demos, Tabletop Baseball Plus, and all the rest. And we will see you later.